um, well, the, the one, the case we knew was going to happen, that was obvious from the beginning. It, it'll go to 11th Circuit, and we'll see how it shakes out there. Um, in terms of the RNC, Florida would love to have the RNC. Heck, I'm a Republican. It would be good for us to have the DNC in terms, of the, uh, in terms of the economic impact when you talk about major events like that. So my posture on all this is we should try to get it done as best we can in, in coordinates with whatever, whatever safety requirements. But, you know, his government will be talking about the safety restrictions, the president's government. So if he's going to do a convention, obviously he's going to want to abide by whatever they're saying. So if we can get that done and do it in a way that's safe, uh, that would be a huge economic impact for the state of Florida. We, we lost out on, when, with, with the pandemic coming, and we lost out on some of our traditional events that we normally do, some of the golf tournaments, tennis. We had WrestleMania scheduled for April, which people don't realize is hundreds of millions of dollars of economic activity. So I think that that would be great. And so Florida, just like I've said to many people, Florida wants to work with you. If you're a business, if you're a sports team, if you have some of these events, we want to work with you to get to yes. I can't guarantee every single idea is going to necessarily be something that, that we're going to be able to do, particularly like tomorrow. But as you look in the summer and stuff, we definitely want to work. So the doors open. We want to have the conversation, whether it's RNC, DNC, whatever, because I think it would be good for the people of Florida. So I said, no, it'll go to 11th Circuit. We knew this was going to happen. I mean, it was obvious from the beginning of how this shook out. No other court in the country has held this, even the Ninth Circuit. So um, I think we'll go, and then we'll see, um, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. But I think that there's obviously good grounds. I have not spoken with the president specifically on that, but um, I have, we've let the folks at the White House know that, that we want to work with them, and we think that would be a good thing to do. So, so he knows that, and I know the key people in his administration and in his campaign know that. Well, maybe Carlos has a great, you know, it's, I think it's, a lot of it is, we obviously have a number of areas in our state that could do it. Obviously, Miami could do it, Orlando could do it, Tampa could do it, Jacksonville could do it. You may even have some other places that, that could do it, and I think it's just a matter of, of whether they, um, you know, they want to do it. But these are things that go in, I mean, and the good thing about it is they've already raised a lot of money for this already, thinking it was going to be in North Carolina. So if you have a Florida committee, if it ends up in Florida, a lot of that work in terms of raising the funds has already been done, and so it would kind of be a plug-and-play thing. So we would want any of the local communities that were interested in doing it to work with them. I'm not going to say that I'm going to choose Orlando over Miami because it's really not my decision. Uh, my decision as a governor is to just kind of say we, we want to work with you guys. We'd like to have, uh, we'd like to have these things here in Florida.